what's up fam welcome back to the channel and we've all been seeing what's going on as of recent in this country mass shootings all over the place rest in peace to all those who lost their lives in this senseless violence caused by real psychopaths but the real brain dead take a fox news anchor tried to bring up video games as being a factor in the recent uptick in shootings. From Game Rant, Fox News suggests mass shootings have gotten so much worse because of violent video games. Right. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm sure you guys are already aware that this would not be the first time a news source has tried to blame video games for the evils of mankind. I'm going to show you guys the news clip in a second and surprisingly enough this article from game rants actually summarized just about everything i was going to say before i do that though do me a favor if you enjoy my content i would greatly appreciate it if you hit the red subscribe button i post content daily about anime manga gaming and controversial topics in geek culture the goal is a thousand subscribers and I can't do it without your help. Also, if you would like, follow me on Instagram. I'd appreciate that as well. Link would be in the bio. Let's get into it. it seems like these things have gotten so much worse since video uh, games became so realistic and so violent. Uh, have you done research or you know, so learned that, that video games uh, tend to just desensitize people to the actual um, results of pulling a trigger? Mm -mm -mm. You guys heard that yourself, right? Fox trying to blame video games for the evils and psychopathic behaviors of individuals. Wow, like we're the only country in the world that plays violent video games. <clears throat> what are your thoughts? Drop them in the comment section, let's discuss. So the article said, like I said, it sums it up pretty well. All right, it says, ever since the 1999 Columbine massacre, video games have been blamed for causing mass shootings and other violent acts. Numerous studies have been conducted over the years that have found no connection between video games and violence. There have been some studies to suggest that video games can increase aggression in certain individuals, but it's quite the leap to suggest that will then lead them to commit a mass shooting. Goes on to say, of course it's worth pointing out that violent games are readily available all over the world, yet the US appears to be the only country that really struggles with mass shootings. It seems reasonable to conclude that there could be other factors at play here besides video games. Regardless, this is not the first time that the finger had been pointed to violent video games in the wake of mass shootings. And unfortunately, it's unlikely to be the last either. I, I, I totally agree. Um, I totally agree. And they're always gonna somehow find a way to blame video games for the actions of evil people in this country. And to damn shame, like the article says, we are not the only countries, country in the world that has Halo. Call of Duty, a Predator, <laughs> you know, um, oh, not Overwatch, that's not a violent game, but you get my point, right? We're not the only ones, Battlefield, but somehow, whenever some, some stuff happens here, they don't want to blame the individual for his or hers crazy behavior, they want to look for other things to blame except the individual, and it's gotta stop, it's getting old, enough is enough. Like I said before, rest in peace to all those who lost their lives. Not just in the ones in Buffalo, but uh, I believe in California and in Texas, I believe it happened in. Uh, don't quote me, but still the point is there were other mass shootings beside the one in Buffalo. So they, may they all rest in peace, seriously. Uh, and let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, hit the notification bell for more content. I would really appreciate your support as you try to climb to a thousand subscribers. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.